Hey, how's it going today? We're going to be doing a uh, single Buford fly um, made out of a little bit of bucktail, some schlopping feathers, and moose beard. Uh, this material here, don't know if you guys have ever worked with it or not, but it is super stiff. Uh, it looks really awesome in the water, and it pushes a ton of water. It makes a lot of noise. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie a Buford up with that. And um, we're going to be tying this on a Berkley Fusion 5 aught flipping hook. Uh, I really like these hooks um, for single Bufords just because they've got such a wide gap on them. And they're made from carbon steel. Uh, they're super, super stiff. And um, you know, if they ever dull down, you can file that tip down, sharpen it up. But before we get going, these flipping hooks have this little plastic sheath holding a little wire here to hold your uh, plastic crawl on for bass fishing. So we're just gonna simply razor that off, just like that. There we go. And then all that stuff comes off clean. So let's throw it in the vise and we'll get going. Okay, turn my music down a little bit here. There we go. I'm gonna start my thread in. I'm gonna wrap that all the way down to the hook barb. On my Buford patterns, I like to take five to seven inch schlopping and run it down <clears throat> down the hook on either side. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. Some popcorn. There we go. I'm going to take these little stems here, I'm going to fold those up, trim them off. <clears throat> I'm going to glue that down, put a little bit of super glue on our thread wraps. Just like that. Here we go. I've got some pearl scale here. We're going to run a few strands of this down over top of those brown schlopping feathers. Just simply lay that on top. Before we pull tension, we're going to roll it with our thumb just a little bit, spread it out. And we can cinch it down. Trim our excess. All right. <clears throat> and we're going to come in with some camel colored bucktail. And I'm about to use this tail up. So just going to use a little bit from the top here. Trim off about a pencil width to form my base. And it's just a simple stack. We're not reverse tying this. Comb out those guard hairs. Simply stack that on top.
Got my thread on that hook point. Gotta be careful that hook point. Super sharp. This happened in the last video that I posted. There you go. Alright, let's try to capture all that in again. Okay, we'll trim off all this excess here. Now we'll glue all that in since we broke our thread. All right. I'll trim that up a little bit. I'm going to rotate this camera just a little bit. There, I think we got that. That's a little better. All right, we're gonna come over top of that with some uh, nine to 12 inch schlopping feathers. We're gonna be running those down the back here. We'll do those in white first. Pull those stems up, trim them off. Next, we're going to come in with some light orange. Light orange brown schlopping. Put three or four of those down. I'm going for kind of a natural sucker pattern with this particular color combo on this Buford. And that moose beard adds a really nice natural gray, white, and black. So it looks really natural in the water, like a prey item. Skip that song. That one too. I'm 
know what's going on with my mix today. A bunch of lame songs coming up. This one's all right. Well, it's depressing songs. <laughs> I swear. All right. Now we're going to use some of that moose beard. And uh, this stuff is really, really tricky to work with. Um, it's uh, it's really super stiff, so you don't need as much as you would with normal bucktail. So, well, slightly less than a pencil width is what I'm going to cut off here, and it's really you can feel it when you're working with it. It's real oily and super stiff, very hollow. So, and it's a lot longer than bucktail so and we're gonna reverse tie this so let's pull our thread up a little bit oh before I do that I'm gonna put some pearl crystal flash down over top of my schlopping feathers Lay that right on top. There we go. And I'm going to glue all that down. Clamp all this stuff out of the way. There we go. All right, now we're going to go back to that moose beard. I bought this up at a fly show last year and I haven't really used it much, but it looks really super cool. And it's not that difficult to work with, but it can give you problems. So three loose straps, we're going to pull tension and slowly rotate it like we would our bucktail. Look yeah, that stuff, it's super coarse. Alright, I'm going to pack that back. Careful, those hook points don't cut your thread again. And that's the first stack. So let's cut off another clump. Uh, I gotta glue that first. Hold on. All right. Pull that thread for a little bit. I'm sorry about my music mix today, man. I don't know what's going on. go a little better it's just on random so the thousands of songs I've got on here just not feeling that vibe today
come all that stuff out of there. All that junk. Okay, I'm gonna do one, two, three loose wraps. And slowly pull tension and turn. This, this stuff can really cut your thread. Just, it's very coarse. So, you gotta be careful with it. Let's try that again. Try it again with that stack. Alright, now if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I like to trim off the butt ends of uh, whatever material I'm reverse stacking here. So, all these butt end fibers here, they act like a, a dam and they can keep that section you just tied in behind this one from flaring out properly. So, we're going to rotate that vise around and trim all those excess fibers off. Then we can start to work this back. And it will give it the proper action on the water. It won't collapse. Keeps it flared out properly. can really feel when you're stripping these flies in you can really feel the resistance in the water that this hair throws out it's it's a lot different than bucktail so having said that I don't use nearly as much of it as you don't need to It's like a big wire brush. It's crazy. All right. All right we're gonna glue all that down and throw in some pearl crystal flash in the mix there. Fold that around my thread. Try to. And just roll that up on top, just like that. Pull our thread forward a little bit. And we'll add in another, another clump.
pack all that back, wrap it up. So that was the third reverse tide section. Now if you've, like I said, if you've ever watched any of my videos, the way that I design my Bufords, I've got a formula that I follow. I only do four sections that are reverse tied. I just feel that, that that formula allows for the best spacing of materials on the hook shank. Um, and it prevents wasting materials and ruining the action of the fly. Because if you pack too much bucktail or whatever kind of hair or material you're using on these particular flies, it ruins the action in the water. So, and you've got a beautiful fly that's worthless. So, you want to use less than you think you might need as far as the reverse tack sections goes. That's why I only use four. I'll do one section right over top of those five to seven inch schlopping feathers in the back but that's just a normal stack that's not reverse tied then i'll do four sections reverse tied then i'll do my head so and we're coming up on the fourth section here so we'll go ahead and add that on Stuff's greasy, man. Really oily. Moose beard. And look how just look how long the fibers are. They're like as long as my scissors. So that's crazy. Pushes a lot of water. A lot of resistance. Makes a lot of thump and noise. Let's see if I can spin this without cutting my thread. I'm gonna take my clip, just cinch all that stuff down out of the way, and I'm gonna add a little bit more crystal flash on there, pearl. Once again, this is my own personal formula. It's up to you how you do your flies, your individual little accents, and come up with your own little recipe. I just after every other section of reverse tied material, I like to put a little bit of crystal pearl or some other color, just some sort of flash. All right, I'm gonna glue all that down. Okay, next we're gonna take this ginger saddle here that I've got. Um, we're gonna pull off two little feathers off the bottom and splay those outwards right in front of the last section and before the head. 
four little fins. If you hold them back to back like this with the stems back to back, they splay out. So that's how we want to put them on the hook. We want them to fold out like fins. off those excess stems. Wrap all that up. We're going to glue it. Okay, right here. I'm going to start making the head here. So the way I do this out of this moose beard is I basically just trim off a couple of sections like I'd use for a reverse tying and then I cut it into uh, like one inch sections. Then we just use the, uh, the base end fibers for the, uh, the head on the Buford with this stuff. So I'm going to take all the stuff here, I'm going to divide it up, set that down, and I'll probably use just about that much right here, this much. So I'm going to trim that off. So you can gather up that clump that you just made. And we're going to lay that on top. Just like so. One, two, three. Got it and spin it. Probably have to help this stuff around. Don't pull your thread too hard. Because it will break. Wrap and pack. Wrap it up, pack it. Right, you see we got a little bit of space here and we'll do one more section okay so let's do it
that other section that you set aside. Grab it up, try to pack it down as much as you can. I can see there's still a little bit more guard hairs in here that I want to get out. Okay, I'm going to add this in. Just place it right on top and try to put your thread right in the middle. One, two, three. Rotate. This stuff is super dense, man. really liking the way this is looking. trim up just a little bit up here. Look at that. All that oil from the moose beard. That's just from the, the moose. This stuff's greasy. Okay, I'm going to take my bigger clip now and I'm going to try to move all the stuff out of the way so I can Whip finish the front and finish it off. Always got a couple of I'm going to try to glue all this in. Grab your whip finish tool. And finish it off. I just cut you out. Try to trim those hairs out. It's inevitable you're going to capture in a few hairs. So just try to clean them up if you can. Pop it out, do a little bit of trimming on it. The 
Kicks are sharp, man. Add a little bit more glue to the thread wraps. And that's it. We got it right there. Moose Main Buford. Moose Beard Buford, sorry. Let me turn the slide off. See if it'll see if it'll pop a little better. There we go. It's supposed to look like a natural uh, creek chub or a sucker, you know, in this color combo. Nice and compact, tight, tight head and body. So, anyways. Um, that's the video for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if it helped you out, awesome. Um, give it a like. Uh, check out my other videos if you like. And uh, as far as that goes, that's it for today, boys and girls. We'll see you again next time.